Hello everyone, welcome to Cross Connect. In today's lesson, we will talk about the patch panels. In previous video, we've looked at patch panel basic knowledge. If you haven't watched it, click the suggested video up there. And in today's video, we'll show you how to install a patch panel and some tips about it. So let's get started. As we shared, there are two sides of a panel forward facing and rear facing. Remember, the forward facing is connect to switch and the rear facing is connect to working station. When you fix the cable patch panel on rack and also install a cable management next to it, the cable management will help to keeping your cable organized on the rack. Before we start to show you how to punch the wires, let's have a closer look for the IDC design of PCB module. The IDC will cut the insulation and make connect with the conductor. So it is very important to make sure they are perfectly seated. Some IDC housing is shaped into a little slot and hold the wires before punching and the wire won't rebound. Let's have a look at the back of the patch panel. The wiring diagram will show on the color label and also the port number that corresponds to the front. Each color wire should be seated in each slot. First, remove cable jacket about 3 cm. Second, separate 4 pairs of wires and remove the cross. Third, seat the wire following the IDC color code for T568A or B. Four, use the punch down tool to punch in and connect the wire to the IDC. Fifth, load the support bar back. And in the end, use a cable tie to secure the cable. Here are some tips about install the patch panel. First, keep the twisted pair open as short as possible. The 101 rules of the termination is always keep your cable close to the connector. So is the panel. So don't leave the cable like this. You should always keep it as short as possible. Second, do not bundle the cable too tight, since alien crosstalk is the interference occurred by a pairs of wires in one cable inducing noise into other pairs of wires in adjacent cables. Squeezing cables makes the twisted pair closer, so it is better not to bundle the cable too tight, or try to deploy the cable in a random way if you are not using screen or shielded cable. Third, keep eye on the cable bending radius. In some limited space, the cable routing could be a problem, but you should always consider the suggested bending radius suggested by the cable supplier, since it may cause the bad performance to your network. We've looked at how to install a panel and some helpful tips today. If you like our video, please give us a like and subscribe our YouTube channel. If you have further questions, you can leave your message below. Thank you.